fountains of living water springing up into everlasting life. Gentlemen, this is the fountain of youth described in scripture, and now we know where it is. We know the world is very old. For a thousand years or so we're told. It follows God would now conclude that man is due to be renewed. Man is due to be renewed. Four thousand years. A very long time. No doubt God wants a change. And whosoever will, let him take of the waters of life freely. Does that mean we must give the waters freely? To give this water freely is an idea that's preposterous. Just bottling the water will incur a modest cost for us. Why should we take on the expense? But scripture says freely. Though scripture states that all mankind may have the water free. I ask you all, does that preclude a distribution fee? A distribution fee! Yes, 50% of the gross margin. A plus administrative expenses. We have no choice in the matter. But who will pay? Let's consider the nobility, our beloved upper class. Faced with aging bodies in the bedroom looking glass. People of such breeding will surely spare no cost. As time erodes their beauty, and their precious youth is lost. As men of great benevolence and charity we find, it's a moral obligation to rejuvenate mankind. It's a moral obligation to rejuvenate mankind. Well, that settles it. But what if our new water is found harmful to the health? Or some such complication that might jeopardize our wealth? Jeopardize our wealth! We can't take a chance. We might get sued. That would be very bad for business. Consider this. Though God would not provide us with an ineffective cure, we'll seek the help of alchemists who'll add the secret substances to make it doubly pure. They'll make it doubly pure. Altering the water is a plan I'm sure is wise. But what if that creates a taste our clients will despise? Our clients will despise! People will buy less. Taste is very important. Here's a quick solution so our clients won't complain. Everyone enjoys a treat. We'll make the water very sweet by adding sugar cane. By adding sugar cane. Alchemy with sweetened taste. An excellent solution. Yes, an excellent solution. And if it still proves harmful or cause some ill effect, such rumors will discredit and the victims will reject. Such rumors will discredit and the victims will reject. As men of great benevolence and charity we find It's our moral obligation to rejuvenate mankind It's our moral obligation to rejuvenate mankind But the prospect of great riches makes us that much more inclined It's our moral obligation to rejuvenate mankind <laughs>